So, for today's topic, ang i-discuss natin ay factoring perfect square trinomials. So, i-recall lang natin that the square of a binomial results in a perfect square trinomial. So, for instance, we have x plus y. Ito, binomial yan. I-squared down natin. So, it will result to x raised to 2 plus 2xy plus y raised to 2. So, ito is our trinomial. This one is a perfect square trinomial. So, kapag magpa-factor naman tayo, i-reverse lang natin yung process which is, itong trinomial natin itong x raised to 2 plus 2xy plus y raised to 2 ito naman yung given at ito yung hahanapin nating sagot yung x plus y square okay, so let's start so we have the following steps in order to factor perfect square trinomial Number 1, get the square root of the first and the last term. Step number 2, use the sign of the middle term between these roots. And number 3, square the binomial obtained in step 2. So, para mas maitindihan natin, let's have an example. Okay, so for number 1, we have x raised to 2 plus 20x plus 100. So, hahanapin daw natin yung factor niyan. Okay, so para sa step number 1 natin, kukunin daw natin yung square root ng first and last term. Okay, so kanina binanggit natin na kapag um, kukunin natin yung sagot ng perfect square trinomial, ang makukuha natin ay binomial. So ibig sabihin, meron tayong dalawang terms. Okay, so unang step, get the square root of the first and the last term. Okay, ano yung first term natin dito? We have x raised to 2. Okay, so ano yung square root nyan? It will give you x. Okay, pag kukuha tayo ng square root, again, nahatiin lang natin yung exponent nya. So, dahil 2 yan, palahati ng 2 is 1. So, x na lang, x raised to 1 or x. Okay, then next, get the square root of the first. So, tapos na tayo sa first. And the last term. So, square root naman ng 100. Square root ng 100 is 10. Kasi, 10 times 10 is 100. So, lalagay lang natin dito, 10. Then, number 2, use the sign of the middle term between these roots. So, kung anong sign, ito yung middle term natin, ang sign niya is positive. So, ibig sabihin, yun daw yung gagamitin nating sign. So, lagay lang natin dito, positive. So, ibig sabihin, kung etong sign ng 20x ay negative, negative yung gagamitin natin. Kung positive, positive. Then, for number 3, step number 3, square the binomial obtained in step 2. So, eto na yung binomial na tinutukoy niya. So, i-square lang daw natin yan. So, we have x plus 10 square or you can also write it as x plus 10 times x plus 10. Kasi yun yung ibig sabihin niya. Kapag nag-square tayo, multiply lang natin sa sarili niya. Therefore, ito na yung factor ni x raised to 2 plus 20x plus 100. So, we have x plus 10 square. Okay, number 2. We have x raised to 2 minus 14x plus 49. Again, get the square root of the first and the last term. Okay, so dalawang terms ulit. Kunin natin square root na itong una at nung huling term. So, square root ng x raised to 2 ay x. Square root ng 49 ay 7. Step number 2, use the sign of the middle term between these roots. So, ang sign ng middle term natin ay negative. Ito, negative 14x. So, we have negative here. So, kapag square na natin yan for step number 3, square the binomial obtained in step 2. So, we have x minus 7 square. Okay? So, ito yung factor ng x raised to 2 minus 14x plus 49. And again, pwede nyo din siyang isulat as x minus 7 times x minus 7. Parehas lang yan. Okay, so number 3 na tayo. For number 3, we have x raised to 2 
plus 16xy plus 64y squared. Okay, step 1, get the square root of the first and the last term. Ayan, laging ganon. Okay, square root ng x squared, x. Square root ng 64y squared. Okay, so sa 64 muna tayo, we have 8 kasi 8 times 8 ay 64. Then, meron pa tayong y raised to 2 dito, so we have y na lang. Okay. Then, use the sign of the middle term between these roots. So, we have positive 16xy. Ang sign niya is positive. So, we have here positive. Then, square the binomial obtained in step 2. So, square down natin yan. Okay. So, ganyan yung magiging sagot natin. Isulat natin siya ng maayos. So, we have x plus 8y squared. Okay, next, 36a raised to 2 plus 12a plus 1. Ulitin natin ulit yung step. Okay, for number 1, get the square root of the first and the last term. Ang first term natin dito is 36a raised to 2. Anong number na kapag multiply natin sa sarili niya, ang makukuha natin ay 36. So, yes, we have... 6, kasi 6 times 6 ay 36. Then, kunin natin square root ng a raised to 2, which is a. Okay, then next, 1, square root ng 1, syempre, 1 din, kasi 1 times 1 ay 1. Then, step number 2, use the sign of the middle term between these roots. So, ang sign niya is positive because our middle term is positive 12a. So, positive then, square the binomial obtained in step 2. So, square natin yan. Okay, so our final answer or the factor of 36a raised to 2 plus 12a plus 1 is 6a plus 1 squared. Okay, for number 5, we have 16x raised to 2 minus 72xy plus 81y raised to 2. Okay. Sundan lang natin ulit yung step. Number 1 is get the square root of the first and the last term. Ang first term natin is 16x raised to 2. Square root ng 16 muna tayo is 4. Yes. 4 times 4 is 16. So, lalagay natin dyan 4. Then, si x raised to 2. Ang square root niya ay x. Then, we have 81y raised to 2. Ang square root ng 81 ay 9. And y raised to 2 is y. Then, use the sign of the middle term between these roots. So, we have here the middle term negative 72xy. Yung sign niya is negative. So, negative yung gagamitin natin. Then, square the binomial obtained in step 2. So, square lang natin to. So, our final answer will be 4x minus 9y squared. Or again, pwede nyo siyang isulat as 4x minus 9y times 4x minus 